All right, boys and girls, let's hop right into our math for today. You're not going to see my face right now, but you can hear my voice, and I hope that you will follow along with me today. Okay, let's go over the things we need first. All right, I'm going to have you get your whiteboard. That's what you see here on my camera. Um, your marker and something to erase with, please. And also have your math book nearby, please. So to start today, we will be saying I R our I can statement, and then we will get started with our story problem and our lesson. All right. Today's I can statement is I can write expressions using a number bond. So we have been working with number bonds the past couple of days. I'm hoping that you're starting to get comfortable with using them. Okay, a new word today is this one, expressions. That is a big word. An expression looks kind of like a number sentence. So we're going to be using some adding signs today. Okay, an adding sign looks like this. Okay, it's that plus sign that we use. That's in an expression. All right. Okay, so I can write expressions using a number bond. Let's see what we can make of that. First thing we're going to do is our story problem, okay? It should be a quick one today. It says, our class had four pumpkins. On Monday, Mar Marta brought one more pumpkin. How many pumpkins did our class have on Monday? Okay, so we're listening first. Hopefully you just listened. Now we have to draw a picture and write a number sentence, okay? Our class had four pumpkins. Can you draw me a picture that represents the four pumpkins their class already had? I'm going to use circles because that kind of reminds me of pumpkins. Four pumpkins that their class had. Okay, so then on Monday we had Marta. Do you remember how many Marta brought? On Monday, Marta brought one more. There's the, there's the pumpkin that Marta brought. Okay, you are following along, following along with me, please. So on your whiteboard, I should see four pumpkins the class already had. And then on Monday, Marta brought one more. Okay, so now we have a picture. Next is our number sentence so that we can find an answer. The question is, how many pumpkins did their class then have on Monday? Well, let's take a look. We had four pumpkins before Monday. They already had four. Then on Monday, Marta added one more. So four and one more. Hmm, I can use my fingers. I can use my mind and count on, or I could count all my circles. Let me show you how we do all three of those. So if I'm gonna count my circles, I would say one, two, three, four, five. If I count on, I would start with four and count one more. So I'd stick four in my mind, four, five. Or if you use your fingers, you might do four on one hand, and one on the other, and you might say, okay, four, five, or maybe you do four and put one more up, and we have five. So the answer to the question, how many pumpkins did they have on Monday? Their class had five pumpkins. Okay, great job. We can erase our work from our story problem, and we will start using our number bonds to write some expressions. So go ahead and grab, um, let's see. Why don't you give me five right now and you're gonna watch me do one and then you can jump in with your whiteboard and do it with me, okay? So give me five and let's do the first one with just watching Mrs. Garris. So eyeballs, eyeballs, eyeballs right here, okay? All right, so let's say Hmm. 
I have a number bond. And today, boys and girls, in our lesson or in our problem set, in our math book, our number bonds look a little different. They're not going to be like going up and down. Today, they look like this. There's a square on one side and two legs coming out the side this time. But still, one part on each leg, okay? So we still have two parts and their lines lead into the whole number, which will go right here, okay? All right, so let's say I have these counters. All right, take a look at my counters. Hmm. I see six counters, do you? Good, I hope so. All right, so I'm going to put six as my whole number, right? There are six all together. Six is my whole number. Now, some are red and some are yellow. Hmm. Some are red, I see four are red and two are yellow. We, we've been practicing this. That should be pretty simple by now, okay? We have two parts, four and two, make six. Now, here's where that fancy new word expression comes in, okay? Expression, when we're reading, it means that we read with a lot of fun and loud and we're showing all the feelings, but in math, it means something totally different. In math, it's a way that we show two parts, okay? So if I were to show this as an expression, I can write it two ways. I can write four plus two, or in math, we can flip, whoop, flip our parts and write another expression. So if I take my parts here and I flip them, then it's going to say two plus four. Okay. So that's how we write expressions using a number bond. Now I'm going to show you a picture and we're going to use the picture. Get my counters out of the way here. We are now going to use the picture To help us. So let me get my picture out. And in my picture, there are a bunch of apples. Okay. In my picture, there are a bunch of apples. And let me see if I can get that a little brighter for us. There, that looks good. And boys and girls, if you would please get your pencil. And let's get out our math problem set. So let me show you here. There's what we did yesterday. We want to flip to the next page. And we're actually skipping a lesson today. So up where it says lesson three, we're going to skip it. We're going to go all the way past this page. And it looks like this. Okay, it is page number seven, three. You'll see a seven and a three down here at the bottom. Or look for the page that says lesson four problem set at the top. Okay, and at the top it says ways to make six. We're gonna be making six today using our number bonds and expressions. Okay, let's go ahead and grab your pencil. Find the page. I'll give you about a minute to find the page. All right, I hope you found the page now. If you haven't, pause me till you do. Okay, so we have our apples, and we're gonna look at our apples today to help us with our problem set. 
Okay, our instructions say use the apple picture to help you write all of the different ways to make six. So, how many apples do you see in my picture? Let's start out with that. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six apples. We're going to be showing ways to make six today. So, let's first look at, hmm, well, some apples, this is a black and white photo, so some apples are dark and some apples are light. Hmm. Just like when we look at our chips and our discs, some are red, some are yellow, we're going to try to find some differences with all these apples, okay? So some are dark, some are light. Let's start with those ones. Let's act like some are red and some are yellow, like our chips. Um, we see our number bond here, and we already talked about how there are six apples all together, so our whole number is going to be six. Now we're talking about some are dark, some are light. Okay, well, boys and girls, how many are dark? Hmm. Three. Three are dark. So one, two, three are dark. That's one of our parts. Some are dark, some are light. That's where our missing part's going to go. So the lights, there are one, two, three as well. So three and three make six. Now we can write our expressions using our parts. Hmm. Okay, so I have three and three as my part. So my first expression will say three plus three. Now, do you remember what Mrs. Garris said you can do to write your next expression? Here's your hint. We're going to flip those. Now, if I flip three and three, it's still going to be three and three, right? Yep, so that's our first way to make six. Go ahead and finish that one up. And then we'll look at our apples again and see what else we can find different. Okay, let's look at our apples now. Let's see. Um, ooh, I think some of them have a leaf on their stem and some of them don't have a leaf on their stem. Maybe let's try that one. So look, they flipped our number bond around. Number bonds can go any which way. No matter what, they're always going to have a hole and two parts. So they can go all over the place. They can go up and down. They can go side to side. So our whole number, do we still have six apples in our picture? We sure do. We still have six apples in our picture. Let's find another way to make six by looking at the the apples that have leaves on their stems. How many apples have leaves on their stems? Oh, three. And how many don't? Three. Oh, well, we just did three and three, so let's do another one. What about the apples that just have a stem and the apples that don't have a stem? Hmm. How many apples have a stem at all? I see one, two, three, four stems. Do you? Oh, let's use that. Let's use four as a, a part. And some don't have stems. How many do not have a stem? I see one, two. Okay, um, so now we have our number bond all filled in. Now we need to write our expressions. So to write our expressions, we use our parts. What are our parts in this number bond? You got it, our parts are four and two. Okay, now Mrs. Garris tells me, oh, if I want to write my next expression, I flip-flop my parts. So if I switch my parts, I will now have two and four as my next expression. Good job. Okay, 
So here's what I'm going to do. You're going to finish your problem set, okay? Um, we found two ways to make six. Um, see if you can do the apples that have a worm and the apples that don't. Okay, so you're gonna find the apples that have a worm and the apples that don't. How many apples do have a worm? I see just this one. So we still have six apples. One has a worm. And the rest don't. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now can you put your parts into the expression? If we put our parts into the expression, we will have one and five, and then we will switch, and it's going to make the same thing, right? So if we flip, we don't have one and five, now we have five and one. Great job. All right, boys and girls, I want you to look at those apples again, and you're going to finish up this last one on your own, okay? I see some that have spots and some that don't. Uh, if you want to do the leaves on the stems, you can. See if you can find another way that you can make six, even if you use a way that we already did, okay? And then you will see your exit ticket on Seesaw, okay? And you'll do your exit ticket for me on Seesaw for today. Just go ahead and see if you can finish up one more way. Find something about these apples where you could make another way to make six. Okay, good luck and let me know if you have any questions.